Hello, Flash Cats, and we're back with another episode of Volcano Block. If you remember last time, we finished up chapter one by making our magmatic arrow heater. We did a good job of getting through the first chapter in only a really a couple episodes, so that's pretty good. We got started with chapter two, Electric Boogaloo. It gave us a food book. Uh, basically, in this pack, every ten different types of food you eat, you get some extra hearts. Uh, so this book helps you keep track of what you have eaten and what you haven't eaten. Next thing we're going to get into is we're going to finally get some trees. You ready, guys? Alright, so to do this, we need some grass blocks and a couple shards. Well, you might ask, shards? Where do shards come from? Shards come from our crushing block being dropped on crystals. So you remember last time we made a decent number of crystals. We're going to take about half of this and we're going to place them there right on the ground and pick up a crushing block and hope that we get the types of shards that we need how many did we get we got six it looks like so that is uh that is not all the types of shards uh but that might be let's take a look we need a purple so shard of the living world and a shard of root life we got a shard of root life we got a shard of the living world excellent this means we can once we find our grass one, two, we can make our seed of life. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to take this guy, quest complete, claim our quest reward here, and get some grass blocks. Then we're going to come over here to this wonderful patch of grass. We're going to stand right in the middle of it. We're going to hold right click. And look at this. Gives us a sapling. Glorious, glorious sapling. Alright, so you might notice in between episodes I did a little bit of work. I put some walls up on the second floor. That way it's a little bit harder for me to fall off. Uh, it's happened before, not super likely to happen again, but it definitely could. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the crafting table. We're going to put two cobblestone here to make four stone rods. We're gonna get a stone crook, because we want saplings back from this. We don't want to have to make another shard of life. Let's take a look at what we got. We got four dried acorns and four saplings. These acorns, as you can see, they can make into ground acorn meal, or they can be used to make primordium later on. Uh, one of the new tree drops added by Vanilla Food Pantry. Acorns can drop from regular oak and dark oak tree leaves. Graftugli fruit drop from jungle tree leaves there you have it all right now let's break down this tree we're gonna finally have wood all right let's put it into play Ooh. yep in this pack you don't get planks from this uh you will notice however this got turned into dirt i'm gonna try and well nope i was gonna try and get that back without having to have it burn but that's okay well nope cobble we'll replace that with a piece of cobble now something super important this piece of fertile soil will be useful later do not destroy it i repeat do not destroy it all right let's take a look back at our quest book uh the next thing we're going to make is a merlinia seed this merlinia seed needs four rose red four dandelion yellow, and one artesia seed. So, we have four poppies, we have four dandelions. Do we have any spare of the... Doesn't look like we have any more artesia seeds, so that just means we come over here, craft these into that, four poppies into rose red, and our four dandelions to dandelion yellow. Let's hop on over here, and... We're going to take four rose red, four dandelion yellow, one artesia seed. This gives us our millennia seed. Living backwards in time. Obtain millennia seeds. Alright, so let's see what our book says. Grown with bone meal. Ignore what the book says about special bone meal. Regular bone meal works fine. Well, let's test that out. 
we will place this here up oh, it looks like it's fully grown but the tool tip says zero percent yeah this one grows backwards uh, so you'll notice that by bone mailing this I got some time dust and some more Merlinia seeds so what do we need this for we need it for four hourglasses of nostalgia so we're gonna need four time dust this is why I was suggesting that we hold on to the bone meal it's important to note this will grow backwards so don't don't let it sit hoping that it's gonna finish on its own it's not gonna work that way all right so we have four of that now let's go back to our quest book we're gonna add this hourglass over here we need 16 stone 16 glass panes and our four time dust well I believe we have our glass panes here let's grab six of that and we have all but one stone that we or we have one extra stone that we need so let's turn this into panes let's grab our hourglasses craft those there we go uh, we have three sticks we're gonna need one more stick unless lever is there any way we can make a wooden lever or not a wooden lever a stone lever. stick palm stick dusty bone stick no nope, doesn't look like it all right well for right this second since we can't get planks we can't get sticks which means we hope with grass but I will tell you what I don't know what the true rate of growth is in this pack for flowers but the dandelions just grow a lot more there's our other stick so we're going to come over here grab the rest of our sticks make four levers uh, I need a bit of cobble grab this grab this and there we go so that quest is complete let's do one of these it's gonna give us two more hourglasses now with this we're gonna make cobblestone of Christmas past uh, it needs 10 of it when provided with a redstone signal the hourglass will slowly convert surrounding cobblestone into ancient cobblestone so I'm gonna take all of our cobblestone here and I'm gonna show you the way I do this we're gonna come up here and make use of our area up here so let's do this uh, replace our hoe so you'll notice that all of the cobblestone that we have or the grass here ground whatever you want to call it is cobblestone so if we're not careful yeah it's gonna turn that into ancient cobblestone as well so let me actually come back down here real quick we're gonna deal with our inventory a little bit and I actually need to grab something else let's put our shards away let's put our crystals away those will be important here in a few minutes um, I have a few more walls from when I was putting that up let's eat a baked potato here and what I'm gonna do is right about here we're gonna put three of that I'm gonna put one two three one then we need our lever one now we're gonna come off to the side here I'm gonna make a plus symbol with this all right so the way this works is once we flip the lever it's gonna start converting cobblestone into ancient cobblestone at an abysmally slow plate pace uh, so what we want to do is we want to make the most of the ability of this thing so the way it works is it goes three each direction so if I do this oops I seem to have missed one there there we go we're gonna make a cube uh, I've missed again that'll do 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 
All right, now we need to go out to this way. We're gonna run low on cobblestone from this. I'm gonna have to farm some more to set up six of these, but that will be okay. Uh, there we go. Now we're now we're getting building. Now, there's a couple ways you could do this. You could use the builder's wand that we got a little bit ago. I ended up using the wand that we got for... Uh, did I not go out? One, two, oops. Three. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to do this a little bit quicker. All right. So, if we fill in this and we fill in this, then we have the bottom layer. And then once you are done with that, so the lever is going to count as one two, three. So you're going to go up, you're going to turn this guy on, and he is going to begin converting to cobblestone. Um, I will finish up farming cobblestone and using our six hourglasses and placing these all around here. We're going to need a bunch of this early on, uh, so I will do that in our next cut. Ooh. But let's come back down here. There's one more thing that I want to talk about before we go and finish with this cut. Uh, let's take a look at something called Burst Seeds. Uh, I believe our quest book actually talks about these at some point. Where is our book? There it is. Alright. Uh, does it talk about these? It might be in a later chapter. At some point take a look. I think it gives you a reward of a burst seed at some point. Let's look through here. So while we're looking, burst seeds are something that are going to be super helpful. They are a way to increase the amount of items you have. Uh, I guess maybe it was later than I thought. I know at some point you're given a cobblestone burst seed. Is it in the next chapter, maybe? Let's take a look at this chapter real quick. Is there a burst seed in here? Does not look like it. Alright, well, we may come across it. Uh, but let's talk about burst seeds. We're going to take four of our cobble real quick. One, two, three, four. Uh, okay. Not how I meant to do it. We're going to cook that up. We have one more in here, and let's talk about the stone burst seed. Uh, we won't actually need this. Stone burst seed is going to need a shard of the sacred land, which I believe we got. Yep. One of these. Put that back. And we need one more of these to smelt up. We're going to wait for that. There we go. All right, grab the other stone in here and let's make a stone burst seed. One, two, three, four. And gives us a stone burst seed. All right, uh, let's go up this way. We're gonna go upstairs again and switch this for this. And I'm going to make a little room here. Uh, that's not even, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, I've made it a little bit too big. Is that right? Yeah, okay. Five there. Open this up. And... We're gonna make this room because these burst seeds explode everywhere, just as the name implies. So we're gonna come up here and we're gonna make a roof. Uh, can I reach? There we go. And we're almost done here. Again, we're working with a lot of cobblestone here, but it'll be important. Alrighty, now we have a piece of dirt and place that there and burst seed 
So what we're going to do is we're going to stand here and wait. I know it's probably going to be a little bit boring to watch, but it is super cool the way that they do this. Um, I don't actually have any light sources. Um, do I have nothing I can make a torch with uh, to make this a little bit brighter, but hopefully this will work here shortly. Uh, these can explode outside of these walls, which gets a little bit awkward, but that's okay. Hopefully this will pop fairly shortly. So you saw what it took to craft this, right? It takes four pieces of stone and then one of these shards. And we'll see how much stone we get back when this actually pops. Come on, you can do it. Just happens to take a little while on sometimes. Uh, let me go get a light source real quick. It may pop while we're down here. Uh, oh, I don't have any sticks, do I? Do we have a torch anywhere? I don't see any torches. They might be up here. Uh, we definitely have some torches up here. Hopefully it doesn't shatter. I just want it to be a little bit brighter in that room. I'm not actually sure if the burst seeds require it or not. So let's grab this torch. We're going to come back down. Eat a little bit. Jump. And safe landing. Alright, coming back up. Has it popped? Nope. You'll generally be able to tell once this pops because you can hear it. It's a very distinct noise that happens. But while we're waiting for this, you can see it's still up here. Let's talk about the different types of burst seeds that there are because this is going to be important between now and our next episode. Uh, you have the sand burst seed, which again, four pieces of sand, shard of the shining dawn. You have a dirt burst seed, which is dirt and shard of the living world. Snow burst seed, it's going to take a little while before we get into snow, but Shard of the Born Might. Netherrack is 4 and 1. Quartz, 4 and 1. Prismarine, 4 and 1. Cobblestone, Gravel, and Stone. Again, another important one for later. And the one we really, really want to get worked on here shortly. This is the Crystal Burst seed. Let's take a look at how this is made. Eight crystal blocks. If you remember, we made crystal blocks via the mysterious mixture. It's a pain in the butt to make. There it goes. There was our stone burst seed. So we invested four stone and one shard, and it gave us 43 stone back. Not great, right? We we can we can we can craft stone by putting it in the furnace, right? So think about it though. We got almost 11 times the resources back. Now, you don't always get that much, but this crystal, so we're going to invest basically one of each type of shard, a crystal that gets thrown through another portal, which we'll get to here in a moment, and it's really just nine crystals to make this guy, right? Because each one of these is a crushed crystal. This is a crystal thrown through. So we need nine blocks of crystal. And this nets us at least one block of crystal. Sometimes you can get up to 20 plus crystal blocks. It's not super likely, but you can get a bunch. So this material is super, super important. Let me tell you this again. Super, super important. Between episodes, I am going to work on farming crystals. So we're going to come back down here and get to showing you how we're going to be able to do this. Because you might say, but we need, you know, we need a, uh, we need something that can make another portal, right? Well, good thing. We're going to work on that. Next thing we want is a log mallet. We need two sticks, two wood. So we're going to have to get a couple more sticks again. Uh, I'm actually going to come over to this platform because we have one more piece of dirt. Hey look, two sticks. One piece of bone meal, two sticks. Alright. Come back in here. We're going to do this and this. And take our two sticks. 
Log mallet. Got it. This also gives us a hollow sphere. At a touch, the sphere projects diagrams and glyphs onto nothingness. Right click to use. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually ended up using that, so I'm going to put it back away. We're going to put this away. Let's look at our quest book now. It's going to give us some meat stuffed roll, which again is important when it comes to the Spice of Life mod. Right click a vanilla crafting table with a mallet to turn it into a tetra crafting table. Replace the mallet with pieces of stone to make them strong enough to break geos. Alright, so we need wood, which means we're going to need to get into the wood path. So let's get towards our rotary grinder first. We're going to need some crystal grinding wheels. See, this is where we talk about it. This, this is where we need crystals. So right now we have seven crystals left. We're going to need to make more. Do we have any debt cord? We have stone dust. We have mysterious dust. We do not have debt cord currently. Are these are instabilis. They are. Where's the rest of our bone meal? All right. We're going to take that. Take some bone fish. Turn those into bone meal. This is all the bone meal we got. So make all these debt cord. We got our shears. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to need this again. All right. Get our instabilis seeds again. Two, three, four. Dang it. It would help if I put some water here, then this wouldn't happen, but that's okay. You get two apiece. I think this should be enough for what we need to do. Plant these again and come back here. Put that away, put that away. Alright, so we got deck cord. We got mysterious dust. I think we can make some more mysterious mixture. So let's take a look. Uh, rotary grinder, crystal grinding, crystal block. Uh, what are we missing? Stone dust. Well, it's a good thing we have some cobblestone on us. We have a little bit of stone dust in uh, our chest, but I'm just going to make a little bit more. You can never have enough. All right. Crystals, crystal blocks, these. One, two, three, four, five. It'll be worth it, I promise. One, two. One, two and uh oops do any of you have singular nope they're all using full so we'll just put this in here one two three all right that should be enough do this we're gonna need some more pink composite bricks let's grab our pink and if you remember our pink composite bricks our pink composite which is raw pink composite blend, which is sand, pink dye, mysterious dust. Uh, it looks like we are out of sand, so we're gonna need to take some of the stone dust, turn it into stone dust blocks, and, oops, one too many. We will put these in furnaces. So each of these sugarcane charcoal cooks four things. Grab the rest of our crystal here, all right, get some glass from each of these, and then throw it, come on, get our sand, and we're going to make some more pink composite blend. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, I think we need a little bit more, hang on, this should be enough. Ah, uh, it didn't actually hit all of it. That's okay. Crush it again. There we go. So, sand. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. This gives us 12 total. Uh, infinite water source is what you want to throw this in, not into just a single block. 
Wait for this all to become the blend. Then we're going to need to throw it in some lava. There we go. Uh, do I have... Aha. Here's where I've been throwing things. Uh-oh. Come to me. There is a rescue run. Whew. That was close. All right. Let's get our crystal grinding wheels. We need three of these. One two three get that back make a rotary grinder quest complete uh, grab our quest book and this will give us some sugar cubes next thing we need is a heat sawmill which is a fairly similar thing to make but instead of those we need red flint or flint well we're gonna have to figure out how do we get flint though. Red flint is flint with, you know, red. Or we can crush gravel, which is cobblestone crush. Did I? Wait a second. Crushing block. Oh, see, this is why we double check. All right, uh, so it's gonna be ground up cobblestone. So. We're going to need a good lava source here. Let's place this here. Um, hmm. Bucket. I'm going to need water. There we go. All right, there's a reason we want that there. We're going to take the magmatic arrow heater, place it above lava. It's going to start generating heat which is going to power our rotary grinder. This rotary grinder is going to, once it gets up to temperature, it's going to start grinding this cobblestone down. And then we're going to be able to get gravel and hopefully get some good shots at flint. Now let's take a look back here. I know we're getting really long on the episode, so hopefully I can wrap this up quickly. It's going to be two flint for each of those, so we need a total of six flint. So take that. All right, got three flint out of that. Pretty good. We're just going to crush these as they come out. That way we can hopefully get this as quick as possible. Nothing from that one, it seems. All right, another one ready to go. Oop. Throw it in the right place. Oh, there's two flint. So now we need one more flint. Hopefully this will produce it. There we go. Ah, produced two. Let's eat some of our meat stuff to roll. And take that, make three cutters, and now we can make our heat sawmill. Excellent. There we go. Could actually just come over here. Let's break this. We'll plant that again. And you know what? We'll just do it this way. A little bit faster to get a crafting table this way. And we're going to place that there. And where is our hammer? Log mallet turns it into benchmark two. All right, so what this is going to do, we need to put some stone on it. So you click repair, hit back, and we're going to say hammerhead. For this, we're going to tell it we want stone, craft. Then we're going to repair back, and I believe it's hammerhead again. Place that, craft. All right, now we have a stone hammer, which is going to be good enough to break geodes. Well, geos come from our cobblestone up here. Let's see if any of this has happened to change. I don't know if I let, no, I did not leave it on. So we'll be back in a couple minutes as we get this and then we will wrap up the episode. See you guys shortly. Alrighty guys, we're back and looks like a bunch of our cobblestone is starting to get, that was close, uh, is starting to get, turned into ancient cobblestone 
So we're going to harvest some of this just to get the idea going. We got enough to complete the quest. So let's take a look at our quest book. Uh, we did complete this one earlier. Muscle bread and grit vase. And now we've completed this one. Ah, here's the burst seed that I was talking about earlier. I knew it had to be somewhere. Alrighty, so let's go over to this. Uh, actually, not there. First thing we need to do is light this ancient cobble on fire. So let's throw it over there. Oops. I do that all the time. I don't know why. There we go. Burning it turns it into geodes. And... Yeah, we should probably empty our inventory a little bit first. I added another chest because I knew we were starting to fill things up here. Uh, grab this. Alright, we're going to put our geos in here. You need to make sure to have your stone hammer on you. Uh, oh, I only have a tier 2 stone, or a tier 1 stone hammer. Uh, where did... Ah, I need to replace the mallet. I thought we already did that. I said adds a head. Oh. There we go, I think. Sickle. There it is. Hammerhead. Alright, do I have. I don't have the stone on me. There's stone. Alright, let's try this again. This, hammerhead, and stone. Craft. There we go. Alright. Now we can take this out. I thought we did that earlier. Guess not. Alright, geodes. Break open. They gave us four lapis. Break it open again. More lapis. Flint. More. Ah, redstone. Uh, two gold nuggets. Nine iron nuggets. An emerald. Six aluminum, four silver, four copper, and that's it. All right, so this is how we are going to start getting our resources. Here's what this chest was actually for as well. And that's probably going to be it, guys. Uh, between this episode and next episode, uh, here's what we're going to do. Take a look at this. We're going to grab our quest book here. We got some charcoal. Alright, uh, actually real quick, because we got enough materials, let's make this iron ingot just to check off one more quest for today. What do you guys think? Alright, iron ingot, quest complete, gives us some more charcoal, and then we're going to get into some other things. So you'll note that these resources, we can also get diamonds from breaking geos, and one of the things we can do with our pickaxe is we can place it in here and adjust the stone pick to have a diamond on it so that's what we're going to do next time um, we are going to have a diamond pick i'm going to have let these fully turn into ancient cobblestone break them down in between episodes upgrade the pickaxe and build another portal and work on a bunch of those burst seeds i know that's a lot in between episodes but it is super repetitive and not all that fun to watch. Believe me, I've done it a few times before. So with that said, next time we will have a bunch of resources. We will get into some more Hearthwell. We will get into some rock cores. And we'll start getting into a little bit of storage and a little bit of automation when it comes to our farms here. So with that, Flash signing off. I'll see you guys next episode.